Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is Man For Himself. If you like men's hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this very one, then press subscribe right now. You're gonna love it right here. Okay, best and worst. Um, these are some of the best, I think, and some of the worst, a bit meh products from Bulldog Skincare. Now, Bulldog is one of the brands that I constantly talk about. Whenever I sort of um, am recommending products to people, I always talk about Bulldog. It is a fantastic price point, and that's something which really is uh, one of the best things about this brand. It's not expensive, it's really open to everyone. And their products in terms of research and development are fantastic, like they go above and beyond, even better than some of these sort of prestige brands that we see. There's some products that I use, some products that I love, some of the products you guys may even know that I've spoken about before, that I think if you're in a supermarket, you see these, or you're in Superdrug or Boots, or you see them online, I would say buy them up. Like if you see them on offer, get them, get them now, share them with your friends, go wild. But there's also some products that I just think are a bit, mm, that was pointless, or ooh, not that good. And I wanna to talk to you about them. So starting with one of the best, and um, these are fantastic. These are the Bulldog Skincare Shower Gels. These are huge. Normally with a shower gel, we get about this sort of size. These are huge, and they're about three pounds each. They are cheap. Um, I'll link absolutely everything down below in the description. These are, how big, I wanna say 500 mils. Uh, yeah, 500 mils, 16.9 fluid ounces, three pounds, so good. And each of the different fragrances really do last. Sometimes with a cheaper sort of body gel, like say like a, a supermarket department store, um, their own brand, they're just a bit shit. These are really great. There is lemon and bergamot, which I like. Um, vetiver and black pepper is one of my favorites. Uh, vetiver is a bit earthy. Black pepper gives it a slight spice. It's beautiful on the skin, perfect for sort of autumn, winter. They've also got the original, which I'm like, yeah, that's fine, uh, but don't necessarily reach for. And the peppermint and eucalyptus. These are my second lot of these. Um, I love them. And also, one thing about Bulldog is everything is naturally derived. They're not gonna put stuff in just for the sake of it. I can tell you here, a light and refreshing scent responsibly formulated using naturally derived cleansers in a recycled plastic bottle. But this, I don't love. I actually worked on the launch of this and the product itself is good, but I find it faffy and I find it gimmicky. These are the Bulldog Skincare face masks. Um, if you've never done a face mask before, face masks are a fantastic way to give your skin a boost, to maybe do a little tweak, maybe brighten it, uh, to maybe uh, sort of sort out any oily patches. They're, they're really good. And Bulldog, when they launched this, really went for the whole sort of um, the man masking thing, which I thought was actually not that in keeping with Bulldog because I feel like they are just really like, hey, we're for guys, it's cool. They're very much changed from their sort of lad, lad, lads, like pump that girl last night sort of vibe that they used to be. And I just was like, ooh. Where it's, it's just like a great brand now. These um, are, the packaging is recycled again. The product is good, but I just find it gimmicky. These are dehydrated, um, unbleached sheet masks. And you add a bit of this energizing sheet mask hydrator and they kind of grow. You can put it on, you can break the stuff off the bottom if you've got a beard. And actually it's really very good. Um, it's really very good, but I find it gimmicky. Uh, these and the energizing range is great. Energizing is really great for tired skin to give it a boost, to hydrate it, um, to kind of like even out sort of skin tone. I think it's a really great launch in terms of that range, but I find these a bit nothing. Um, I just think when you're reaching for a face mask, you want a quick fix. You know, you don't want to be hanging around doing this. You kind of want to get in the bath with a beer. That's me, or a glass of wine. And you just want to enjoy yourself. Um, so I just find it a little, a little pointless. Um, but the formulation is good. Robin, just commit. I don't like it. But that said, so this was the energizing range. And although I didn't like these, one thing I do love is the face wash from the Energizing range. Um, Bulldog face washes across the board, I think are great. What you will find with all of them is they don't over dry your skin. If you're a guy with oily skin, hello, that's me. Um, you might think you wanna strip everything out. 
but you don't. You just want something that is going to take away excess oil, but also kind of put a bit of hydration back into the skin. And this does this. Uh, this is the Energizing Face Wash, Rice, Algae, and Test Yourself Robin, just read it, Maze. So it's all about sort of energizing. You'll see across all their packaging that they've kind of got the main ingredients in there. Um, this also says with natural ingredients, they're also now using sugarcane packaging, which is I think at least 50% sugarcane plastic. I didn't even know that was a thing, which means that they're really reducing that single use plastic. Again, another huge tick. This is great. This is really light on the skin. It's gonna cleanse. It's not gonna leave your skin feeling dry. It's not gonna be tight. It is great. Energizing face wash. And again, super cheap, fantastic. Um, that's good, but I'm gonna give you another good one first. Oil Control Moisturizer. I have this out and it can compete with the best. Uh, Murad, I absolutely love. Murad uh, is Dr. Murad, it's a doctor brand. And they have a, a matte, matte pore control moisturizer with an SPF 40, I'm pretty sure it is. And it's fantastic, you know, it's really light. But this can compete with it. This really does. If you've got oily skin, you don't want anything too creamy on it. You don't want anything that's gonna block the pores, but you do want something and you need something. That's it, if you've got oily skin, you still need to moisturize. This is great. This has got willow bark, juniper, witch hazel, does it? Yes, all of those things. So it's gonna really reduce inflammation in the skin. It's gonna stop you from getting that oily greasiness and it's so easily absorbed. Um, I have this out and this is one I'm constantly recommending. If you ever slip into my DMs and ask me about um, products for oily skin, this is one I'm probably gonna recommend. Their whole oil control range is fantastic. They've got a sort of original line, they've got an oil control, they've got an age defense, is that right? They've got an aged one anyway, and they've got a protecting sort of sensitive one. So it's really good. So that's great. But something I don't think is great, and this is another one that I'm really sort of um, splitting hairs on, and it's their um, protective <coughs> moisturizer. This has gone in my not great list because it's only SPF 15 now. Okay, this is a moisturizer with an SPF, I mean, straight away, that's great. We should all be using an SPF, but I do think this is too low. SPF 15 is recommended by dermatologists. They say it's a great basic. So really they are ticking all the boxes, but I just think I've come to expect so much with Bulldog. I think with all these products that have been um, rigorously tested, uh, products that deliver, I just think an SPF 15 just felt a bit lazy. I know that they're gonna have a reason for this and I will probably get an email from someone saying, um, the reason we did this Robin is because X, Y, and Z so shut your mouth. Um, and if that's the case then apologies, but I just, I'd be expecting more like an SPF 30 or maybe even a dedicated SPF of 50, but perhaps it's not their market because maybe guys that are buying Bulldog don't see SPFs as important. They're important, listen to me, get an SPF in. So it's, it's still a fine product and it's easily absorbed. It's not really my favorite compared to the oily one. Come on, Robin. Um, but I just think SPF 15 is far too low. Whoa, there we go. Final one, which I think is fantastic. And you might be thinking, why is that in? You are like your best, Robin, because you don't have a beard. No, I don't have a beard. But if you've got facial hair, Really do look to beard oils, look to anything that's gonna condition the skin, look to anything that's gonna um, really uh, sort of improve the condition of the skin where the hair is growing. You might be, especially if you're in the sort of the first stages of growing facial hair, this is patchy, but she's a beauty. This grows in amazingly, thank you. Uh, you might find that it gets a bit tight and it gets a bit dry. You might even get sort of like beard dandruff. Use a beard oil. Firstly, like lightly exfoliate. You can do chemical exfoliants. Um, you can also do a, a slight physical one. I'm gonna be talking about that. But this is really, really great. Again, super cheap as a beard oil, get that in. And it's just like, it's a really light scent. It's not overpowering. As with all of these, they don't pack it full of scent, um, except the body shower gels, which are amazing. And this is just really, really good. What's in this actually? Um, God, I should have really read this. All the products are purpose built for men um, and can contain amazing natural ingredients. This beard oil contains aloe vera, camelina oil, and green tea, specially formulated to soften, tame, and condition your beard. I get this bad boy across the old tash. I think um, it's just like, it's just really good. And the price point compared to other brands out there is fantastic. So, um, 
when you're in a supermarket or you see these online, get the shower gels. Honestly, these are so good. And if you're a guy that likes fragrance, like me, then these are fantastic for layering. The sort of vetiver one for winter, the sort of um, like the orange one is more sort of summer, but still great for a pick me up. Also like any of the moisturizers, except that protective one are amazing. I just think this is a really fantastic brand. And I thought this was a good way to kind of showcase what you should be looking for. I'm gonna do more of the brands. I've got some hair care brands coming up. I will look at like, um, like Blue Man, Best and Worst. I could also look at maybe some L'Oreal products, Best and Worst, uh, maybe some more sort of budget hair, VO5, I don't know. You can let me know, but um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, these products and more are on the products pages on manfromself.com. So if you're a bit stuck, you're not too sure what to do, you just wanna get under the bonnet of a brand, then that could be a really good place for you to start. And I'm always around. I try and help as much as possible. DM me, do whatever you like, comment down below. But thank you again. If you're still new to this, you've still not press subscribe, then hit subscribe right now. It's there. So some more video suggestions down there, a link to the products page is there, and more bits in the description. I always recently am getting really caught up to where do I go after that? I think I just say bye. Um, but until my next new video, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.